In this video here, we'll learn how to create profiles in the ShipBot. First step, at the very top, select Profiles. Next, navigate over to the orange button, New Profile. Once the new profile window opens, you can start filling out your information. First step is the profile name. Make sure to name your profile something that is easily identifiable. If you're running multiple regions, it's best to name your accounts by region first. That way you can keep better track of your profiles. Next up in the email column, you can actually put any email that you choose. Please be aware that the confirmation email only goes to the Nike account. For instance, if your Nike account is nike123 at gmail.com, and your personal email is johnt at gmail.com, the success email will only go to your Nike account, nike123 at gmail.com. Next, I'm gonna quickly fill out this form. Once you get down to the billing section, you can either select same as shipping, or you can enter in your own personal information. Please be aware it's best practice to create unique profiles that means that every one of your profiles needs to be different. This is not a required step, but it's definitely recommended. Also, in the bottom right hand side of the new profile window, you have four options. Make sure to select that option if it applies to you. If you're looking to quickly create accounts for testing purposes, navigate to the bottom left hand corner, generate fake address. What that will do is populate every field with random information. Once you've completed filling out all your information, select create new profile. Once the profile is created, you have many options under action. You can select the pencil icon to edit that profile. You can select the trash icon to delete that profile, or you can select the three dots to bring up additional options. The first is duplicate. By selecting that one profile, it will duplicate that profile. Notice the additional characters at the end of the profile name. The next option is Jig Address. The first step is to select that profile. The Jig Address count window will pop up. Simply enter a number of addresses you want to jig, select or deselect random name, and hit submit. A couple more options in the profile window are export, import, and clear profiles. The export option will allow you to export your accounts out of the shipbot into a template. We'll have further instructions on how to do that as well. Also, you can import your profiles using a JSON file. We will also have instructions on how to do that as well. And lastly, the clear profiles button that simply just clears all your profiles. Now that's it for creating a profile. I'll see you in the next video.